Sam and welcome back to my channel. Carrie Jeannie is here with me as always hanging out somewhere in my vicinity so you might see her head pop every now and then into frame. But hi everybody! Welcome to my living room, my Christmas haven. My name is Kelsey Lee for those of you who are new and here we are all about coming together to explore our abiding creativity, to document our lives, and to really abide in the faith, hope, and love of Jesus. And what better time to do exactly that than Christmas. Now, before we dive in to the gift ideas I have for the Christian in your life, or maybe for you, and you wanna pass this video off to a friend or a family member, give them a few subtle hints, you can certainly do that as well. Pay attention, family and friends because they're trying to tell you something if they sent you this video. But before we dive into that, I would be absolutely remiss if I didn't talk about the fact that we've already been given the ultimate gift in Jesus. It's really as simple as that. I love Christmas time. I love the trees. I love the lights. I love the decor. I love the music. I love the food. And of course, like everyone, I love the presents. But I do like to try and take a step back every Christmas season before I get sucked in to the commercialized way of the world and remember the true meaning of it. Remember that God came here with us, Emmanuel, to be born in a manger, to die on a cross, to save us from our sins. That is the reason for this celebration. That is why we celebrate Christmas. And as we celebrate, we can also be thinking about this as an opportunity to share that faith, hope, and love with others. How can we be showing God's love and light to the rest of the world who perhaps is celebrating this holiday same as us, but at the same time, totally different from us because they're missing the main gift that's been given to us. And I say this as somebody who was that person. I was that non-believer who just celebrated the commercialized Christmas, who enjoyed the lights and the food and the presents without any of the real meaning behind it. And now I'm celebrating Advent. And so that is what I hope for you, that you would be celebrating Advent this Christmas, celebrating the coming of Christ and hoping in his coming again. So as you search for that perfect gift to give to your loved one to show them how much you care, I hope you feel how greatly your Father in Heaven must have cared for you to give you the ultimate gift of his Son. And let his generosity motivate your generosity this season. With all of that in mind, today I want to share with you some ideas of meaningful, purposeful gifts that you can give to somebody to not only show how much you care, but also to remind them of God's love for them, or perhaps provide them the tools to develop an even deeper relationship with Jesus. So with all of that said, let's jump into these ideas. I have a wide variety of 
ideas for you. Some are to buy, some are to DIY, some are more expensive, some are cheaper. You can really play with it however you want. And I'm saving the best for last, putting it out there, so make sure you stay until the very end. Now, I love this first idea because it's one that you can go as crazy above and beyond as you want, or you can really tone it back and keep it simple so that you can be spending as much as you want or spending as little as you want. And that is a Bible study tote or gift basket. Now, if you want to go above and beyond, you can get them a tote or a canvas bag of some kind for them to carry around all of their supplies in. And then you can fill it with a new Bible. I personally use the Illuminated Bible. I think this is the perfect gift Bible. And it's a really beautiful addition with these illuminated pages and illustrations in it. So that even if they already have a Bible, they probably don't have a Bible quite like this. So it's a really special addition. So you can give them a Bible. You can add in some favorite highlighters some sticky notepads, your favorite pen to write with in a Bible. You could also add a little Bible study or devotional book to that mix. You could throw in a commentary or a book about how to read the Bible better. One of my favorite books on how to study the Bible is by Jen Wilkins and it's called Women of the Word. So that would be a great book to tuck into the Bible study tote as well. You could also throw in a notebook for them that they could take notes on through their studies. I'm going to get into my favorite notebook in a little bit, so stay tuned for that. And if they already have a Bible or already sort of have a system, another option would be to get them a new Bible study. There's different ones on all different books, so you could find a really neat Bible study, give them that, and then pair it with a scripture journal that would just be a journal for them to write in for that specific book. Basically what I'm saying here is you can go as above and beyond as you want. You can make it like an art journaling, Bible, tote extravaganza, or you can keep it simple and just give a little Bible study and a little journal for them to take notes on. Now if you're thinking that's all well and good, but I wouldn't know what Bible to get or what highlighters work best, I do have a video here on my channel that is my favorite Bible study supplies and that would give you some great ideas for the types of products to put into your Bible study tote for the person in your life you're thinking about this idea for. So definitely check out that video. I'll have it linked up above in the cards. This next idea is a little bit more personal and will require you to get a little creative and that is to hand paint a Bible or to hand letter their favorite verse of scripture. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my gosh, I can't possibly paint a Bible, but I think you'd be surprised by how easy it can be, and you don't have to do a full amazing landscape. It could be as simple as painting a pretty little flower on it, or even just painting a wash of color that fades into another, a nice gradient pattern, Point is, you can make it as simple or as complex as you want depending on your artistic abilities, but I guarantee you that a hand-painted Bible would mean so much knowing that your hands created what is on the cover of that Bible. So just consider it, even if you don't think you're artistic, trying it yourself, I think you'd really be surprised with what you can produce. Same with hand lettering. It's something that you can learn and it would show a lot of care if you took the time to learn a new skill in order to make that gift for that person. So consider picking up the new skill of hand lettering and doing their favorite verse. It would really go a long way. But if you're just like, I don't have enough time, I'm not artistic enough, there are options to buy hand-painted Bibles. One of my favorite companies is called Hosanna Revival. It is woman-owned, Christian-owned, and she does amazing work hand-painting Bibles. So you could check out her shop. Another option would be to commission an artistic friend. That's probably my favorite idea is to reach out to somebody you personally know 
has the talent, I'm sure that you know somebody, and ask them to help you in creating this gift. And the fact that you would be partnering with somebody you know, maybe offer them, you know, a little bit of payment for their help on this project would really mean so much to the person receiving this gift. My next idea is to make a war binder or prayer journal for this person. So the term war binder comes from the movie War Room. If you haven't seen it, I do recommend it, but essentially it's creating a little room in your house where you go to pray and go to war with the devil. And because not a lot of people have just an extra closet or a room in their house to turn into a war room, there has been this new concept of a war binder, creating a place for you to pray and combat the devil, a war binder, otherwise known as a prayer journal of some kind. And the way that you do this is, again, as complicated or as simple as you want it to be. So you could get a really fancy binder, really pretty, six ring sort of thing, make it out of happy planner discs, however you want to do it, or you can just get your typical dollar store three ring binder and build it that way. Whatever you want to do will work, but essentially the idea is to create sections in that binder with blank pages for the person to fill in. So you could have a prayer section, you could have a place for them to take their Bible study notes, you could have a place for sermon notes, a place for them to write their favorite verses, and then create various pages in the middle for them to fill in. Now, if that sounds a little bit confusing to you, don't worry. I do have a few videos here on my channel about war binders and prayer journals, which I will link down below and in the cards. So I really recommend this gift idea from experience. I think it carries so much meaning and purpose behind it and is also offering a really functional tool to that individual for their walk with God. But if creating a prayer journal or war binder from scratch feels like a little bit too much right now this close to Christmas, I totally get it. Keep in mind that all of these gift ideas can be used at any time of year. Save it for a birthday or a baptism. Tuck away this video in your likes and your saved videos for a future reference. But if that feels like too much for right now, Consider just buying a prayer journal. I asked for one this year that came from Hosanna Revival, that same company I mentioned earlier, and it is a five-year prayer journal that I'm really, really excited. I think I'm going to get it for Christmas. I did pass off the link to my mom and tell her that would be a great gift idea, so I'm hopeful it will be under the tree for me. But that is a really good one. I'll link it down below for you. And then, of course, everybody knows that I love Emma obsessed, pick your word, with my growth book. The growth book is exactly what it sounds like. It is a book that is meant to help you grow in your relationship with Jesus, but I love it because it's so simple in its design. It is really good for either a woman or a man, for a beginner or somebody who has been walking with the Lord for a very long time. And it has some guided sections, but also has a lot of freedom in the way that this journal is set up. So I will link the video that I have for my growth book here on my channel, in the cards, in the description box, because that will give you the full overview of what the growth book includes. And I also just purchased my new one for 2021 that I'm so excited to use and I will be sharing that on my channel as well as a flip through of my old one. So lots of good content heading your way soon. Make sure you're subscribed for when all of that comes out and I of course will link Growth Roots Company in the description box so that you can go and check out their website and all of the beautiful growth books that they have in stock. This next idea is very simple and may be a good option for somebody that you don't necessarily know as well, but know is a Christian, and that is simply Christian apparel and accessories. Because oftentimes these are things that people don't really want to buy for themselves. It might feel a little frivolous to be buying yourself an I Love Jesus mug or something like that but can mean a lot to get it as a gift and be something that you really cherish. I'm actually wearing a shirt right now that I did buy for myself, and that is from the Daily Grace Co., and it is this beautiful sweater, if I can sit up here. 
so pretty. It's a beautiful sweater and it is the fruit of the spirit. So it's a very understated Christian shirt, which I like a lot because somebody can comment on how beautiful it is and it allows me to start a conversation, whereas sometimes somebody's not going to comment on an I Love Jesus mug if they're not already a believer because they don't want to step into that conversation. But if somebody sees a shirt like this, right, and just is like, oh, those are really beautiful flowers, and I really like the words on it, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, like those are all really great things. It allows me to have that conversation about, yeah, they are really good things, aren't they? And you know what this is, this is the fruits of the Spirit. This is all the things that come from knowing Jesus. And that allows me to step into that conversation. Not saying that that has happened yet, but that is my hope for a sweater like this to be able to have that kind of conversation. I also have this really great mug that my mom actually gave me for my baptism. And it says, be still and know that I am God. And again, really good conversation starters. That is I think the power behind Christian apparel and things like this because it allows somebody to comment and start a conversation with you and also serves as a reminder to you of God's goodness. It's just like an everyday reminder when I'm drinking my coffee to be still and know that God is good and he's got it all under control. That's what I hope at least comes from these sorts of accessories. And I do think that these are a great opportunity to shop small because there are lots of Etsy shops that sell this kind of stuff. You can find some really cute faith-based things in local gift shops. And then there are also some nice Christian companies like the Daily Grace Co. that have a lot of items like this as well. My next idea is your favorite Christian movie. I think this is really neat because it can be very personal because you're choosing it based off of what you personally have really enjoyed. It allows you to go beyond just giving the gift and to have a conversation with them then after they watch it about how they enjoyed it, what they learned from it or got out of it. And so I just feel like it can be a really personal and special gift. I also really like the idea of giving a Christian movie or series because it is something that you can give to a couple or a family and something that they can then enjoy together. One that I've personally gifted is the Chosen series. If you haven't heard of this, I highly recommend you check it out. I'll have it linked down below. I know that there is some criticism about anybody ever trying to represent the Bible and Jesus because, you know, how can you possibly do it justice? But I will say that I think The Chosen has a really strong heart after God and his mission of telling all the world about him behind it. And I think they did an exceptional job and you can really tell the research that went into their work. And personally, this series has really helped the Bible to come to life for me in a new and special way and I'm really grateful for the series. I can't wait for season two and so I just highly recommend it. That would be my pick for a gift for this year but maybe you have another. The Case for Christ is another really good movie that I would probably recommend to friends and family. So those are two options for you but like I said I highly recommend that you give a movie or series that means something special to you and your faith walk to help spur them in theirs. This next idea is nothing groundbreaking, but at the same time, similar to the movie idea, it can be really personal and special because you're giving them something that you have personally experienced and enjoyed, and that is to give a favorite book or devotional. And so I'm going to put a few of my favorites here up on the screen that I would personally give as gifts and I'll put them in the description box as well for you guys to check out and learn more. I'm not going to go in depth with what my favorite books are other than to share them in this way, but if you would like to see a video on what I would recommend in terms of Christian literature, fiction or nonfiction, 
let me know that down in the comments and also definitely share your recommendations. What would you recommend I read in the new year? I would love to hear your ideas. If you want to take the book idea a step further, consider getting a book that you haven't read. Get one that you have been wanting to read and get a copy for your friend or family member as well. And when you give it to them, make it an invitation. Say, I would love to experience this book with you or this study or devotional with you. Would you want to maybe meet up where we could talk on the phone every two weeks or so and have a conversation about what we're reading and really partake in this together? I think that would be so, so special to receive not only the gift of a book itself and a chance to expand our knowledge, but an invitation to fellowship. I have two more ideas for you, and these ones are great for 2020 specifically because I know a lot of us are not able to physically gather with our family and friends this year. And if that is the case for you, I know that we still want to be able to give something meaningful to our family and friends, and at the same time, we don't really want to be racking up excessive shipping prices. So this next idea is one that you can give virtually, and that is to get them an online Bible study or a subscription service. Now there are lots of options out there for online Bible studies and they vary in prices. And I would just encourage you to do your research, find one that you think would be really meaningful, and then you can sign them up for it. You'll just want to keep in mind if the Bible study is something that they can do at any point in time, or if it's a more time-sensitive, keep up with the weekly prompts sort of Bible study, in which case you want to make sure that they're okay starting it and finishing it within that time frame. So I would recommend, if possible, getting one that they can complete at their own pace and do it any time they want to. One that I personally have used and can highly recommend is Club 119, which was started by my good friend here on YouTube, Alyssa Nalani. And if you've been with me for a while, then you know that I actually had a chance to partner with Alyssa on her most recent Bible study in Ephesians. I was able to design the workbook cover for that study, as well as the printables that you get to download when you join the study. You get all of these great printables that you can use in your Bible or in your journaling as you are studying the word of Ephesians. And I just think it's really fun to be able to create in that way at the same time that you're getting awesome biblical content. Alyssa did a fantastic job with that study. I learned so, so much from those six chapters. I highly recommend it. And she has made the Ephesians study available as a course that anybody can take at any point in time. So it's a great gift idea for somebody who you can't see in person. You can sign them up for the Ephesians study. It's a one-time payment. Plug in their email and then they'll be set up to be able to partake in the Ephesians study. All you have to do is give them their username and password. So that would be my recommendation, but like I said, there are tons of other online studies, and my tip to you would be to do your research and find a study that makes sense for that individual, and that is a really powerful virtual gift. As I promised, I saved the best for last. I am so excited to share with you this new discovery I have made, and it is the Artsa subscription box. I am amazed by what they are doing through Artsa. So Artsa reached out to me and asked if I would like to receive one of their boxes to check it out, and I was so intrigued, and I went over to their website and was browsing and just really could see an incredible heart behind this company wanting to share Israel, the Holy Land, with people all over the world. Israel is such a special place, and many of us, most of us, probably will never get a chance to go there. So the whole idea behind this company is creating a subscription box to bring the Holy Land to us, to deliver the Holy Land right to your door, and to be supporting the people who live there. This is a great way to support small businesses 
in Israel. So everything that comes in this box was hand selected. It is items that are locally sourced from a specific place in Israel. So you can sign up just to get one box, get that current location, which is Bethlehem, or you can sign up for a quarterly subscription. So you would get the next box on a quarterly basis every three months. You would have a new location to explore through the Arts of Box. And what I love about this is that it's a true learning experience as well. It really is a way to transport you to a location and be able to explore it. So they include this awesome little graphic for Bethlehem and on the back it has a letter all about Bethlehem and a little section down here about how to learn Hebrew which is really neat. And then inside they have cards representing each of the local shop owners or businesses from Bethlehem telling you about their work, about the artisan, about the item that they've created and how you might enjoy that item. Such a neat idea and I loved getting to read all of the different stories of the different artists and the heart that goes into the products they create and how I might use that product to deepen my understanding of Israel. Some of my favorite parts about this particular box were the hand-painted Bethlehem plates as well as the tables that talk cards that have really neat ideas to start conversations around your Christmas table. And then the fact that for the almond butter, which is made with almonds from Israel, how cool is that? That they included a recipe card for how to make cookies using that almond butter is such a neat touch. And everything in here is such high quality, you can tell just by looking at it. And I just think it is the neatest gift idea. And I love the fact that if you want to get the full subscription and really go all out for a gift, then it is the gift that keeps on giving because they not only get to enjoy that first box that you give them on Christmas, but then they also get to enjoy the box over the next few months and get to delight in each time they receive that box and like I said the fact that it's something that has a recipe or it has a game like the tables that talk it really makes it an experience that you can give to a family and they can enjoy together. So if you want to get an Arts of Box I do have a code in the description box and if you sign up now they do have some Christmas deals going on as well that might even give you more off. Definitely check it out. It is the perfect gift and I personally am actually planning on giving the box that I received to my in-laws. I think this is just the most amazing gift for them because they are obsessed with Israel. They love it so much but they will never likely go. They're not really big travelers so what a neat way to bring a piece of Israel to them I think they're gonna be amazed by this box so although it pains me a little bit to part with this box I am trying to put on my spirit of generosity and give the box away to somebody who I know will really appreciate it but Artsa if you want to send me the next box box number three I promise to unbox it on my channel and I wouldn't say no so I just love the whole concept it's so wonderful and you can really tell that there's a heart for God and sharing the Holy Land with others behind every box. So I will have Artsa and all of the other different shops and businesses that I mentioned linked down below as well as all of the ideas are listed there for you and a few of my favorites behind those ideas are there for you too. So plenty for you to explore in the description box and hopefully from this video you have gained some ideas for what you might gift the Christian in your life or maybe you got some ideas for what to add to your own wish list, feel free to pass this video on to a friend or family member as a little nudge for what to get you this Christmas. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider joining the Abiding Fan by hitting that subscribe button and I am so abundantly grateful for each and every one of my family members here so thank you so much and before you go on to the next video hopefully one of mine make sure that you leave a comment down below I'd love to hear from you let me know what was your favorite gift idea in this list 
What is a gift idea of your own for Christians? And what was your favorite Christmas gift ever? We would all love to hear, so make sure you leave a comment. And I will look forward to seeing you all in my next video. Until then, Merry Christmas, fam. I really hope that you are feeling his presence this year and recognizing that that truly is the best present there is. Keep exploring your abiding creativity and document a life full of abiding faith, hope, and love.